Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today we're gonna take a look at Axela 2.5.1. In the description, you'll find this link, and in that link, you'll find two files. One is Axela for Linux, which is SteamOS and every other uh, Linux distro. And the other one is specifically made for Bazite, or Bazit. And we are on the Steam Deck, by the way, if you haven't noticed. I'm gonna right-click on that, and extract it. Extract here. So, to install this, right-click on the installer, and then run in console okay or you can just double click it but i like right clicking on it because you'll see the progress on the terminal all right so it's installed but if you're on buzzite and you want to install that you could just right click on here and then open terminal here and then dot slash Axela install just like that and then press enter and it should do the same thing after installation you'll see it on all applications and then let's run Axela and in your case it might take a few seconds before it launches but it's not my first time so it launches right away so let's have a tour in Axela at the bottom you'll see the buttons the search button where you're going to search the game that you want to download but for now we're, we're not going to search anything and the game library where you can see all the games that you have currently installed via Xella and the sound settings you could turn off the audio or adjust the volume if you want and the appearance settings or the style settings you can change the color of the app I'm going to change mine to green and you could also change the background color from black to whatever you could also change the font if you think this default font is not uh readable for you all right so that's how i like my Excella. let's go to settings and first one is you have to make sure that you have an sls steam installed in my case i have one installed it says update available because mine is not uh updated so we're gonna press that yes Right, so it's installed. There we go. Up to date. Next, close Steam. All right. And then open terminal. On the description, there will be this command. And I want you to paste this here. All right. And then press enter. When Steam launches, you should see the SLS Steam notification on the lower right. And then Steam should launch like this. And then you know that it actually works. Now, why did we launch Steam using SLS Steam command? That's because we need the config to be generated, which would be uh, located in home.config, SLS Steam, and then this file is what we need. So open that up. Here we're going to change this setting to yes. And then we're going to change safe mode to yes. So save that and we can now proceed. Next, we're going to run SLS Chivo. This is for the achievements for the games. If you don't need achievements or you don't want achievements, just turn this off and don't bother clicking this. But in my case, I want that. So I'm going to check that and then run SLS Chivo. Now here, you're going to log in your Steam account. You're going to put your username, you're going to put your password, and then you're gonna have to allow it to Steam Guard. But hold up, I know you're concerned. You're afraid of getting hacked, which I understand. But the only purpose of this process is to download the achievements on your Steam Deck so the game can use it offline. You have two other options on doing this. The first other option is using a dummy Steam account instead of your main account. That's totally fine if you want to not use your main account. The second other option is following this tutorial from Reddit. I'm going to link this in the description. Although I should warn you, it's a kind of long process compared to just using SL Chivo. Then again, if you don't want to use your Steam username and password, even if it's a dummy account, this is the alternative. So it's up to you whether you want the short and easy way or the long and hard. So after you set off SL Chivo, we're gonna get your Morenos API key. So how do you get your Morenos API key? We're gonna visit Morenos. So here, what you want to do is click the button on the bottom first, not this one, this one. 
So join the server, verify on the server, and then at least get level one. As long as you get level one, you get usage. If you're confused, I'm, I'm gonna show you, right? So I'm verified on the server. I'm not going to go to the server now, but I'm going to continue with Discord. So authorize that. Right, so as I was saying, if you're level one on the Discord, you get 25 requests per day. So that's 25 games per day. If I'm gonna be honest, 25 games per day is crazy. If you need that much games, you must be a backlog collector. But if you want a higher limit, of course, just, you know, uh, participate in the Discord, you know, talk to people there. And then eventually you're, you'll get to higher levels and you'll get more uh, requests per day. Or you could just shell out your money and just pay for it. It's really up to you. But in my case, I only need 25 because I don't always download games. Right, so to generate the API key, you have to go to API keys, right? And then generate API key. I'm gonna copy that and then paste it on Axello. There we go. Let's talk about these settings. For SL Steam, it's the script that's going to handle the games on Steam where it's going to behave like a legitimate game. That's the purpose of SL Steam. Axela is the downloader. Green Luma is the same thing, but on Windows. Now, this one is new to me, actually. Limit downloads to Steam libraries. It says detect Steam libraries and lets you choose in which library to download. All right, I'm going to check that. And generate Steam achievements. I've talked about this earlier. And remove Steam DRM with Steamless. Now, most, if not all Steam games use Steam DRM as a security for the game. So to make sure that games run, enable this. But you also have to make sure that you have at least one installed Proton. In my case, I have Experimental 9.0 and Hotfix. I prefer Experimental, but you can set it to Auto if you want. With that all set up, let's click OK. And we're ready to get a game. I'm going to search for a game. Let's see. So you have two options. You could, you could search for the game like this, right? Or, so we're gonna search for Terraria. As you see here up top, it says 105600. So that means you could type 105600 here and it would still return Terraria. What you do is double click on it. In this part, you're gonna want to check the depots that you want to download. Now, these three are the versions of the game. If there's a DLC, you can check that as well. But in this case, I can only check one, either Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, but I'm going to use Windows instead of Linux. I'm not sure, I've, I've tried Linux on a different game. It's, it didn't launch. But since the Windows version works, I'm just gonna go with Windows. So press OK. And then you choose wherever you want it installed. In my case, I have an internal storage or the SD card. I want Terraria on my SD card. Press OK. And it's going to download. All right, so when it's done, you're going to see this. Just click yes, and it's going to restart Steam. You can close this now. Okay, so we're now on Steam. We're going to search for Terraria, and there's the game. We also have achievements, so that's great. Now let's try if it's going to play. All right, missing game executable. Right, so let's go to properties. And let's see the files, browse. So there's the file of the game, but what we're going to do is set this to Proton Experimental, right? So play. All right, so the game works. I'm gonna try to exit it. Okay, so how do you update a game? You can't just update from Steam itself, what you're gonna do is open Excella and then go to library, select the game that you want to update and then click validate files. As you see, it says this will fetch and validate the latest manifest for Terraria. This will not remove your current installation. The game will be verified and any missing corrupted files will be re-downloaded. All right, so. We try, yes, it's going to fetch the same manifest files from Morenus, and it will show you the updated files from Steam. This method is not just for updating, it will also let you download additional files such as DLCs. If you only want to play on desktop mode, 
you're done. You don't have to finish this video. But if you want to play on gaming mode, we're gonna have to add one more step to finish this video. This step is crucial, all right? If you mess this up, you're going to get stuck on the SteamOS logo. Okay, so open console and then type sudo SteamOS dash read only disable and then press enter. Type your root password, press enter. And then go here, delete this. We're gonna type slash USR slash bin. On the search, search for Steam dash Jupiter. So right click on this and open this with a text editor. I recommend Kate. The last line of your Steam Jupiter might be different because you haven't edited it, right? What you do is select the whole last line. So replace that with this. After you paste this line, press save, type your root password, press enter. So how do you make sure you're safe when going back to gaming mode? What you do is exit Steam and then run Steam again. If Steam doesn't run, you're gonna have to go back to Kate and control Z to restore your old uh, last line here. And then try again. But if Steam launches, in my case it did, that means I'm safe. You will also see an SLS Steam notification on the lower right. We can go to gaming mode and we're gonna try that right now. So we have Terraria here at the bottom. Let's see if it plays. And there we go. The game works on gaming mode. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I'm going to try to answer it the best I can. Or you could also join the Discord. The link will also be in the description if, if you want to join. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell icon so you know when I upload a new one. Once again, I'm JD Ross and see you on the next video.